The next day, Percy arrived at the scene of the crash. Oh no. Henry. My dearest friend, Henry. Just like that. And he stared at the lifeless piece of metal that was once his friend. Oh, I didn't have to end like this, Henry. Now we'll definitely be closed for sure. Suddenly, James puffed up. Oh, hello, Percy. Oh, uh, hello, James. Have you come to moan Henry too? James slowly turned to look. Hmm, I suppose. It's sad, isn't it? He was one of the biggest, proudest and strongest engines on this railway. Without him, I don't know how we'll be able to cope. It makes me very upset. Yes, I suppose it is tragic. But you know what makes me even more upset, Percy? What? Having cheeky little engines steal my victims from me. Victims? Uh, do you think I'm stupid, Percy? Do you think I'm dull or something? <laughs> Henry was mine, Percy. He had lovely red stripes, and they rivaled my splendid coat. I couldn't live with that. I needed him gone. But you got to him first, didn't you? You're going to take all the credit, aren't you? Uh, James, it's not like that. But it still happened, didn't it? So it is like that. Oh, James. You know, Percy, you have red stripes too. And we can't have that either. James, please. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I'm sorry, James, really. I... It's a bit too late for sorries, Percy. <laughs> Say hello to Henry for me. James! 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 Goodbye, Percy! Oh, oh, oh.